children, are you ready to explore the world of animals? Hmm, by the way, do you like animals? If your answer is yes, I am happy to know that you like them. If your answer is no, it's okay kids. I am sure that this lesson will help you like animals. Before we start our lesson, do you still remember the song about Old MacDonald? If yes, let's sing and dance together! Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo Old MacDonald had a farm Did you like the song, children? Let's answer the following questions. Number one, what are the animals mentioned in the song? Number two, where can you find the animals? Number three, who is the owner of the farm? Were you able to answer all the questions? Very good, children! Let's start now your journey into the world of animals. In this lesson, you will infer that body structures help animals adapt and survive in their specific habitat. You will be provided with fun and exciting activities where you will understand animals' life both in land and in water. There are different animals around us. They live everywhere. There are animals that live on land and there are also living in water. Have you ever asked what makes them possible to live in those places? What if we try to change their habitat, the place where they live? We put the fish on land and the chicken in water. What would happen? Before we continue our journey, let's learn some vocabularies. Adaptation is the structure or behavior that helps an organism to survive in its environment. Marine or aquatic animals are animals living in water. Land animals are animals living on land. Population refers to the total number of animals in a particular habitat or community. Remember children, habitat is an ecological or environmental area where species of animals, plant, and other type of organism live. Some of the habitats of animals are pond, grassland, and sea. 
The body structures of animals for adaptation play an important role in choosing animals to raise in a particular habitat. This time, let us find out how well you know the lesson. Let us do learning task number one, animal habitat. Identify and group the following animals according to their habitat. Write your answers in your answer sheet. If you have the capacity to take this quiz online, you can copy the link below or enter the code on quizzes.com platform. Did you get all the answers in learning task number one? If not, don't worry, kids. We still have plenty of quests to conquer. Let's answer the following questions. Number one, based on the activity, which animal belong to endangered species? Why do you think so? Number two, is it important that we take care of stray or endangered animals? Why? Did you know that endangered animals or endangered species are those considered to be at risk of extinction? Meaning that there are so few of their kind that they could disappear from the planet altogether. Here are the examples of endangered animals in the Philippines. Let's learn more about animals. Are you ready? Let's go! Animals play an important yet unique role in human life. We use animals for our own benefit and sometimes forget that they are also living things. There are times that we forget to treat them like humans. Just like humans, animals also have developed parts of the body adapted for survival in a certain environment. This adaptation can protect them from predators and from harsh weather. There are several ways that animals can adapt. During this time of pandemic, people have coping mechanisms that enable them to survive. These may be behavioral, structural, and physiological adaptation. Our skin color enables us to adapt in the ultraviolet rays from the sun. Animals have body structures that enable them to live in water and on land. Like for example, animals can live in water or they are called aquatic animals because they have scales, outside skeleton or exoskeleton, shells and gills. Scales are used for protection from diseases and harmful objects and for swimming. Most fishes have scales. Lobsters and shrimps have outside skeleton called exoskeleton, while mussels and oysters have shells. To breathe, gills are organs responsible for breathing in the water. Through the years, all animals that happen to live in water can adapt. On the other hand, animals have also structures that help them adapt on land or they are called terrestrial animals. Some animals like dogs, cats, and monkeys are covered with fur to keep them warm. Others like birds are covered with feathers for them to have ability to fly. Some like worms have smooth skin for breathing. In general, most of animals have body coverings for protection. They have also parts for movement like legs for walking, swimming, and running, and wings for flying. Most of them have lungs for breathing. Some animals have protective coverings such as turtles, crabs, snails, and oyster. When they sense danger, they keep their bodies inside their shells. Wow, kids! Animals are very interesting! Let us find out how well you know the topic. Let's do learning task number two. Uses of body parts. Match column A with its use in column B. Write your answers in your worksheet. Well done, kids! You really did well on answering the activity. 
let us have some activities to enhance your skills. Learning task number three, adaptive structures. Read each word below. In your worksheet, write W if the word talks about adaptive structure of animals living in water and L if it is an adaptive structure of animals living on land. Learning task number four, body parts. Choose the body part that animals use to adapt to their environment or habitat. And circle the letter of the correct answer in your worksheet. Hi children, you are about to finish your journey. Let us test how much you have learned in the past quest. Are you ready? Learning task number five, animals in the community. Draw at least five animals found in your community. Identify its body structures that enable them to adapt in their habitat. Read and follow the rubric as guide in doing the activity. Now, let's answer the following questions. Number one, if you are going to raise a particular animal, what is it and why? Number two, what other animals can you take care of at home aside from dogs and cats? Way to go, children! You are now in the last part of your journey. Learning task number six, survey. Copy the table. Using text, call, or any online platform, ask your friends or relatives about animals they have at home. Write their protective structure and their habitat. Congratulations, children. I hope that you have learned a lot in this quest. Always remember, the love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of man. See you in the next journey. Take care. Goodbye, children.